Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Since his wife Tony passed away tragically in 2017, Jerry, 72, has been on The Golden Bachelor in an attempt to find love once more. Everett Turner, his father, revealed in an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun that his son is accustomed to having to choose between multiple women. According to Everett, 91, he had two girlfriends in high school, Tony and a younger female. This was revealed to the U.S. Sun. You cannot accomplish that, son, his mother assured him. You must choose between the two. He chose Tony. Following Tony's untimely death in 2017, Jerry made contact with the woman he had rejected. Everett asserted, He dated this female after Tony passed gone. They planned to have lunch together. She resides in a different state. It wasn't a major issue. He just dated her. Regarding his son entering the show, Jerry's proud father went on, It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. In his career, he achieved great success. Might as well do a similar action. We are in favor of the program. I agree with him. I'm not at all anxious about my son. Whatever he does, I'm sure he'll do a great job. Nothing has failed for him. He said, a partner so to speak, when asked what kind of lady he would like to see for his kid. She needs to be a talented chef. The best prime rib is made by him. Even so, Everett cautioned his son, saying, have fun and be careful. Before going on the show, Jerry dated a number of women, but he was never able to discover true love. In the past, Heather Lanning, Jerry's close friend and employee at the Shady Nook, which is located near to his lake house in Indiana, told the U.S. Sun that Jerry had dated a few women. They weren't short-term, but they also weren't long-term. He spent a fair amount of time dating a few women, but their relationships didn't work out. Heather gave an explanation for the breakdown of the relationships, saying, I think it goes back to whether you're there for the right reason or not. Heather maintained that Jerry wasn't on the dating apps, claiming instead that he met the women at the Shady Nook or was introduced by other people. Everett had previously disclosed to the U.S. son that his son intended to remain near his cherished family. He declared he enjoys Indiana. This is probably where he wants to say it, as he bought the lake house for his two children. Norma, Jerry's stepmother, continued, I don't think he would move. For $375,000, Jerry bought his lakefront property in June 2020. The $637,700 home has four bedrooms and four bathrooms with a view of Big Law Lake. While Jerry's other child, Angela, lives in Illinois, his father, stepmother Norma, and daughter Jennifer dwell nearby. Heather, though, thinks he would move for the right woman. I think he would move or have the woman move here, she said to the U.S. Sun. Everything will depend on how that transpires. I don't believe he would be confined to mobility. In 2017, Jerry's spouse Tony, with whom he had two daughters, passed away. According to the retired restaurateur, their goal was the lake house. In a sneak peek, he stated, We shared 43 amazing years together. I now have two granddaughters from our two daughters. We led a routine yet lovely life filled with love and activities. As the years passed, I retired. We were prepared and knew exactly how our ideal home would look. Thus, we purchased that ideal home in 2017 after Tony retired at the end of May. On June 6, it was closed. It didn't go at all as planned after June 6. You know, over the course of a few weeks, she was unwell and her circumstances worsened. So we went to the emergency room, and she had a bacterial infection that infected her kidneys and infected her liver, he said, breaking down in tears. 
So on July 7, I took my wife to the ER, and on July 15, she passed suddenly. That lake always makes me think, this is her dream. She deserves this. Why am I the only one standing here? Six years will have gone since her death. There will the never be a death of his Tony. wife, Tony. 72-year-old Jerry joined the Golden Bachelor in an attempt to find love again. Carrie's father, Everett, 91, has disclosed to the U.S. son exclusively that his son intends to remain with his cherished family. Everett stated, I don't think so, to the U.S. son. He enjoys being in Indiana. This is probably where he wants to say it, as he bought the lake house for his two children. Norma, Jerry's stepmother, continued, I don't think he would move. In June 2020, Jerry paid $375,000 for the house, a few months before his wife passed away tragically in 2017. The $637,700 home has four bedrooms and four bathrooms with a view of Big Lawn Lake. While Jerry's other child, Angela, lives in Illinois, his father, stepmother, and daughter Jennifer dwell nearby. However, Heather Lanning, a close friend of Jerry's, thinks he would make the move for the right woman. I think he would move or have the woman move here, she said to the U.S. son. Everything about that will depend on how that plays out. He wouldn't be restricted to moving, in my opinion. In 2017, Jerry's spouse Tony, with whom he had two daughters, passed away. According to the retired restaurateur, their goal was the lake house. In a sneak peek, he stated, we shared 43 amazing years together. I now have two granddaughters from our two daughters. We led a routine yet lovely life filled with love and activities. As the years passed, I retired. We were prepared and knew exactly how our ideal home would look. Thus, we purchased that ideal home in 2017 after Tony retired at the end of May. On June 6, it was closed. It didn't go at all as planned after June 6. You know, over the course of a few weeks, she was unwell and her circumstances worsened. So we went to the emergency room and she had a bacterial infection that infected her kidneys and infected her liver, he said, breaking down in tears. So on July 7, I took my wife to the ER, and on July 15, she passed suddenly. That lake always makes me think, this is her dream, she deserves this. Why am I the only one standing here? Six years will have gone since her death. There will never be another Tony. On September 28, the Golden Bachelor season debut aired. Faith Martin, a standout, received the first impression rose from Jerry, who sent six women home. Regarding her friend's ideal woman, Heather had previously told the U.S. son, he's open-minded. He'll see who he likes by looking into her eyes. He'll be aware. According to Heather, he wants someone gregarious and focused on his family. He needs somebody who would travel with him, she said to the U.S. son. He enjoys taking trips. That's significant because he does spend a lot of time with his daughters and grandchildren. Jerry values his family a great deal. She must also adore the ocean. If he moved here or had the wife move here, I believe it. Whichever way it turns out, that will determine the outcome. He wouldn't be restricted to moving, in my opinion. I hope there is maturity that goes along with this age bracket instead of what we typically see, Heather continued. However, women can be catty at any age. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.